It's a supermarket called Farm Foods. That got a bit out of hand, I think. Is it actually the cheapest supermarket? I've spotted something awesome. I am blown away with the prices. I almost feel like they've, they've made a mistake or something. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home here in London on another fantastic day. We've got another fantastic video for you guys. Before we get started, let us know where you are in the world with the hashtag live but not live in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. Okay guys, today we are hoping to discover something new. You guys have been telling us in the comments how much you've been enjoying our shopping videos. And for a while now, quite a lot of you have been suggesting that we go to one very specific supermarket. Even one of our friends suggested it. And that supermarket is a supermarket called Farm Foods. Yeah, comment below who's heard of Farm Foods. Yes, because many of you guys have been telling us that it is super cheap there and we did some research and we started looking it up online and it turns out that it could potentially be the cheapest supermarket in the UK. So we went online and there's actually a few of these farm foods around London. We tried to find one that was closest to us and today we're going to be putting that to the test and seeing is it actually the cheapest supermarket. Now guys, we've never been before, so we have no idea what it is like there. So come with us and let's check it out and see how good it really could be. We've literally only just come in here and already I am blown away with the prices. For fresh stuff as well, which we wanted to really see what they had and they've got watermelons for 169. That's, good size as that's well. That's not per kilogram. We thought that was per kilogram. That's for one. Come, come and have a look. I'm almost tempted to fill up on all of those. We should have got a trolley. I think maybe get a trolley. Do they have trolleys? We'll get a basket for now. These are my favourite kinds as well. Look at that, 169. Also, honeydew melons are 49p. Jojo. That's really good. That's really good. These are normally two pounds elsewhere. 150 to two pounds. Yeah, yeah, Jojo loves these. I like them too. Cucumbers, 49p. I almost feel like they've, they've made a mistake or something. Pineapple, 79p. That's amazing. We're going to fill up our basket just on fruit at this point. It's rate. actually heavy already. And what's this? Blueberries. 69p. Normally that's about 152 pounds. That's cheaper than that, even. Wow, and it says 69 people of raspberries, but I can't see any. Yeah, I think they must have sold out the raspberries already. We've had to make the executive decision to move to the trolley. Katie's poor old arm was that struggling. Was, that was getting heavy. And let's, be, and let's be fair, we were far from done. The only thing is, will we end up filling up this trolley? I've spotted something awesome. Hot noodles, vegan, it says on there, of course. They're 39p. Calm down. This is your dream, isn't it? This is what's been happening in all our challenges recently. When you've gone, pound, that's not good enough. Is this what you were talking about? I'm not, I have to keep double checking to make sure that is. She's right, free gang. Would you perhaps go as far to say as this is the happiest day of your life? Uh. <laughs> the fact that you're considering it. I feel uh, like, what are you doing? I feel like we should get a few. <laughs> oh no, what has this place done to but you? No, these are good for the van. True, mm. and we are going on a van trip soon. You can't leave them there for that. And that is a good amount. That's a big one, that, yeah, 100 grams one. Free game, if you want to see what KT excited looks like, this is it. One thing I've noticed already, they use the space in here really well with the amount of products they've got stacked everywhere. So you have to really keep an eye and look everywhere of all the different products. And look what I found, cumin powder is only a pound. That's a good brand as well, Layla, they that do the good. rice. Yeah, they do rice, garam masala. I cannot leave those there for that. I feel you're gonna be saying that a lot today. Probably. Also, this peanut butter is normally 169, really good brand, it's not got palm oil in or anything like that. And it's only 89p in here. That's a really good price. I know. I should, even should... I know that. I, I'm not the price guy, but even I know that. Yeah. Should I get two or one? No, no just one. Just you, one. You, come here, come here, come here. I feel we've been in here. We've like stepped in 
10 meters and you're getting carried away already you need to calm down okay <laughs> you really do you're getting too excited you're getting everything you see I mean, is a good deal 89p so though. she's not listening is she she is literally going crazy behind me guys <laughs> you just hear her mumbling to herself going that can't be real it's a Look really good price though. see what i mean napolina sauce it's like a ragu sauce 39p yeah this one's 39p this one's 39p this chili one's 39 oh my goodness look so what's that six for one six pound six for one pound it's not exactly asking for a big spend this and is what is that passata we have it's ones like that at home and i swear we spent a pound for each one yeah as this is a bit of a different video and we're just trying to figure out things here we haven't set a budget but which is quite lucky because this one's getting carried away that says they're 19p each or six for a pound might as well get six so correct me if I'm wrong, all of these Uncle Ben's rice packs, six packs for seven pounds. That's not super brilliant, right? That's oh, okay. I mean, you can get the non-branded ones for about 40, 50p. These are all branded ones. For the branded ones, that's good, but it's cheaper to get the ones in like Lidl's for 40, 50p. We're so busy looking up here that we've realized actually these are all freezers full of- No, no, no. <laughs> Let's be clear, it's more you. It's more me. Um, but. <laughs> A lot of the stuff in the, these freezers are three to six pounds. So we're talking like rice dishes and that, aren't they? Rice, yeah. So we've got like a vegetable here. here. So three for six pounds, that works out at something like two pounds, two pounds each. each yeah. A bit pricey for that size, I'd say. Yeah. So, okay, at the moment this is varying, but yeah. uh, looking good though. Free game, we're not ones for soft drinks, but if you do like soft drinks, their prices here are really good. It says three of these cases are 24 cans, three of those for 26, and you can mix any of them together. But that's an amazing price. Like, they probably work out about 30p a can. Oh, it's snack attack time know, for Katie. It kind of reminds me of Poundland. Or well, the snack area. Like, there's so many snacks. That that's most of the food in Poundland. Let's find some of the same things we got in Poundland and see what they compare like, like skips. I remember we got those in Poundland. Were they like £1.50? For that for was a six. six pack. But this is 14 in a pack for three pounds. You get a couple packs more for like 20p more. So it's better? Slightly maybe, yeah. Yeah, I won't buy them because we don't actually need them. They're delicious, but I'm trying to be good right now. Oh, are you? Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah. This is a similar brand that we got in Home Bargains. Do you remember the spicy ones? Oh, okay. These aren't spicy, the ones we got were spicy. But they've got maple bacon taste and sour cream and onion, and they're both vegan, and they're only 79p. For quite a big bag as well. For lentil chips, that's really good. I'm going to get these for the van. So Bob and I were just trying to figure out if these were cheap in here and they have an offer on if you buy four of these six pack for the six pack it's 18 pounds they're 5.49 each but even with the top deal of buying four of them for 18 it's still not as good as Poundland because <laughs> when we, you buy a four pack when you buy four pack yeah because we worked it out per tin but I've enjoyed having these they're a really nice brand well they've got other beans here though should we try to see how much the other ones are yeah that that's really good we don't really eat these but that's a kilogram i think well, it's not that good there's um, only one of yeah, them yeah <laughs> because everyone's bought them all that's why that's how you know it's good no it's not a kilogram it's 720 grams so they work out two pound 50 each that's really good I'm not going to buy them but that maths good. on the spot there katie we like that that's a really good deal however we were just looking at oats weren't we yeah i would say that that for this many oats that is quite expensive yeah some things are really really amazing but some things not so much which is quite good because otherwise we wouldn't be able to control you would we no they got you as soon as you walked in the door didn't they and now they're bringing you back down to mm. earth same with the frozen stuff you got two pizzas for 99p some really really amazing deals with the frozen stuff we have some really awesome condiments we're trying to figure out if they're cheap though I'm relying on you with this, with prices sometimes. Like, tell me how much gravy normally is. That, I it? think three pounds 49 for that gravy is expensive. <coughs> I was gonna say, isn't gravy like two quid got that? So we just found out they've got different products scattered around. Different vegan products. Yeah, so like in the Richmond sausages section, they've got the meat free ones. I haven't bought these before, but for a pack of eight, two for four pounds. Yeah. So two pound a bag, that's yeah. probably decent, right? Two for four, it means you have to get two of them to get yeah. the deal, but I've, let's get two. 
they did say though they have two like meat free sections where they have corn products and they have Linda McCartney products so we'll check those out as well they do okay okay you found a better deal with the baked beans so I think this four pack two for five pound works Good. out like 250 for four so that works about 62p each which I think is similar to what we got in Poundland yeah but we those were Heinz weren't they yeah we haven't tried this brand before but it's worth a try we like making a habit of trying every kind of baked beans the country has to offer she's checking out more pot noodles what are you saying you're looking under for the yeah. price or oh, that's not what you want to see is it well i think one pound nine's all right for these it's not 39p though is it it's not i think maybe they're just maybe trying to get rid of those ones or something those ones better taste good but yeah 99p that's, that's a good price for the smaller one. Oh, you're happy with that are you yeah so it looks like they do have their own brand of food as well and oh, frozen yeah. fruit tell us about frozen fruit oh wow. is it three for six do you know what that would be good for making a crumble yeah, we love making crumbles with these. So we got rhubarb. I love rhubarb. Rhubarb crumble. Yeah. Oh, and you can mix them. So we could... Black Blackberries, although we have been picking our own blackberries and we made a crumble with them the other day. Cherries, apple, uh, oh, pineapple, um, mango. That's really good. You get 500 grams as well. So they're working out at two pounds each, right? Yeah. Three for six. Summer fruits, you get more in a bag of summer fruits. You get 600 grams, so that might be worth getting some. And blueberries um, and raspberries. Raspberries and blueberries. I've got to get rhubarb because I promised Jojo that I would make a rhubarb crumble. Okay, so we get some um, apple, mango. Is it mix and match yeah. any? mix any. They're all the same offer, so it all counts. So it's mixed. Okay, I'm going to get summer fruits because they're good. So we've got to make sure we get the right number so we get the offer. Yeah, I might get another summer fruit because we always use these, don't we? Yeah, they're going our porridges. Just those three? I think so, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I guess so because we don't want to get carried away like you have been already. Yes. The sounds I'm hearing from her, I just hear, ooh, 49p. She doesn't even know what it is, but <laughs> she just sees a price. I did, I said sweet corn. No, you didn't know first. You said, oh, 49p, what's that? Because I thought it was these, but it wasn't. It's not the mixed beans, oh, no. I thought, see, I thought it was the mixed beans. Something that, it's this here, the corn. Although, the mixed beans are three for, three for a pound. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many shall I get for that? Just get three. I can give some to my friend. Just get three. Oh. Calm down. This trolley is going to start getting full up very quick. That is so good. Like seriously, that is so good. They're not out of date or anything, are they? No. So they got a lot of frozen veg as well. Bag of peas, a pound. All pretty decent prices, right? Yeah. They've got mushy peas. I didn't know they did frozen mushy peas. Wow. 89p. That's, that's, I'm going to get some of those. Do we need them? You're going for the I full love, farm foods experience, aren't you? I love mushy peas. Yes, I am. So this is more of their brand. Are you already noticing the difference in their branded yeah. prices? I mean, that's 79p for diced sweet. Like, that's really good. They've diced carrots as well, frozen. 99p. Okra. I don't normally see stuff like that. I like okra. You, do, you can get it in Sainsbury's. Oh, I do like this. That could be handy, I don't know. What do you reckon? Oh, look, diced mushrooms. Oh no, I've turned into you already, just from frozen veg. Check out the prices of these things, yeah, guys. Yeah, 79p, I know. It's really amazing. Really good prices. That is cheaper than fresh mushrooms, and they're already sliced for you. Get so, some of that. Get some of the stir fry stuff. Let's have a good old stir I could, fry. I can make some of vegan bacon with these as well. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Katie, the ultimate test. The strawberry jam. Do you remember the with the yeah. different sizes? That is the normal size, I think. 149. Is that better? That's Can you remember? Right. That's that's okay. That's good. We've just come round the other side, and there's so many more vegetables around um, here. Roasting vegetables. That's good though, because you you want a place that's got a lot of veg on offer. Yeah, Mediterranean veg, two for three pounds. Roasted vegetables. Yeah, roasted ones that you can just roast straight away. Parsnips, yeah, lots of good stuff. And if you needed any kind of ice cream cone, they have a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. Wow, look, it just keeps going. Okay, they've got so much more in here. Veggie swing rolls, vegetable samosas. They've... So they're 139 each. Yeah, that's really that's good. That's okay-ish. That's okay, that's good. Onion rings, 199, but you get 750 grams for that. 
That is quite a hefty bag, yeah. Yeah, potato skins, lots of potatoy things. Oh, here we go. We're in the vegan section. What's okay. that? What is that? You just picked up. <laughs> it's vegan, but it looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty awesome. How much is it? Two for four pounds, or five for six pounds. So, I mean, I don't know even to compare that to anywhere Two else. Two for four pounds, or five, five of them for six. six. So that works out like one pound 20 each or so. That'd be nice for a movie night. Should we get a couple? Let's get a couple. What, what, two for four pounds? Two for four pounds. Stein off movie nights, are you? Yes. What's that? It's a brand I've never seen before. So yeah, they're like vegan breaded nuggets. And they're only 99p. Mm. That's really Should good. Should we give them a go? Give them a go. Yeah. Ultimate test. Veggie fingers. 169. They're one pound 50 in Poundland. Or one pound 30 in Amsterdam. Like their version. Yeah, It worked true. out, didn't it? Yeah, it did. What about these Linda McCartney sausages? One pound twenty nine. That's a good price. That's really good. Get some. Got loads and loads of different spreads here. That's expensive compared to what we just got. What we said about Marmite, five forty nine. Oh, that's expensive. I think for a big one. Yeah, I think that's still expensive. However, this is very good. One pound forty nine. One pound forty nine. Not as good as Poundland because it was a pound in there. Hmm. Well, I mean, that is their name. We're into potatoville. These were three pounds at Poundland and Tesco's. Two for 450. Two for 450, should we get some? 225 each. Really nice. That's much better. Yeah. Like, yeah. Lots of other good potato-y things as well. Including the waffles, which we got at Poundland, but we realized there was only eight in the Poundland ones. All these freezers are just dedicated to potatoes. Five of them. I'm gonna say that about farm foods right now. You've gotta love their dedication to potatoes. Yeah, you have. So, right, this will be interesting. Their own brand ones. Two for 550, and that's a big bag. That is a huge bag. Nearly two kilograms, so 275, two yeah. kilograms. That's really good. Okay, these are all the same price, their own brand. And so it's just basically what, how you want the chips cut. How yeah, you what shape cut. of potato do you like? Yeah, I really like this, this shape. Fries, Jamie does as well. We're well, having some tonight. This is all pucker pies. We're just seeing if they have any vegan ones. Well, yeah, because sometimes what we noticed in one of the other freezers is they had a vegan thing mixed in just because of the brand. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Smoky cheddar flavor and onion bakes. Is it definitely vegan? Yeah, it says isn't it vegan. It is apple, is it applewood vegan? <gasps> oh my goodness. Calm down, let's this see how much it is. How much? 125. No. That's good, should we get two? Yes. No way. <laughs> So it's, you're, so you've got it now. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You're worse, <laughs> you're worse than me. No, it's steady on, that's quite the statement. Okay, I think we're coming into desserts and everything now. We're in the last aisle. I feel like we've got so much. Yeah, yeah but we'll have away. a look, but we won't choose anything. Let's have a look, see the deals. But well, there might be something worth choosing. Well, we haven't got space in the freezer, Bob. We'll just eat it all tonight. Oh. Oh. So Ben and Jerry, see if they've got a vegan one in here. Yeah, they haven't got a big, they haven't got a vegan one. Unless they have a section of vegan... That's a good point. Uh, ...ice creams, because sometimes they do that, don't they? They could, yeah. I feel like we need to get out of this section. <laughs> There's too many tempting things here. What are you saying there, Bob? have got some other fresh fruit and veg here. Oh, yeah. Potatoes, that's a big, how much is that big bag of potatoes there? We can't quite figure out how much these potatoes are. It doesn't really say. So I remember the prices of these when we went to Poundland and Tesco and these are two for £2.30 which works out one fifteen each which is really good. Yeah compared to Poundland they were £1.40 in Poundland. Mm. Yeah. And we found the vegan magnums but we're not getting them. Two, two for six. That's quite good. Not as good as Poundland though. I think it's two fifty for a pack. That works out £3 a pack. Okay. Yeah still really good value though. So I think we're all done here guys. This has been very, very interesting. So we're gonna get home, see what we got, and see how much we spent as well, because this one got out of hand. Well guys, we are back with our first ever farm foods haul. That got a bit out of hand, I think. It did, I, I just said let's go there and let's try and find some really good bargains and just um, buy, buy a few things. We did find good bargains. Oh my goodness. A few things, however. Yeah, the, the few things kind of went out the window, but oh my goodness. 
this? No wonder people were telling us to go there. Why didn't we listen to you guys earlier? Some great deals, unbelievable deal. However, it wasn't consistent across the board. Some things were amazing, some things were more expensive than the cheaper stuff. A lot yeah. more in some cases. Some were, but I mean, if you want to go there and get some good deals, then you definitely should. Obviously, you saw us buying the stuff, so we're not going to go over every single product, but I'm just going to tell you some of my things which I was so excited about. Um, the frozen fruit was amazing, three for six pounds, especially the rhubarb. I mean, you got, that was 750 grams. Rhubarb, when we go to our farmer's market, is so expensive. You have to bear in mind though, that's organic and fresh. I love the fact that it has a crumble. Oh my the goodness, they that, knew. They knew, that's what we're gonna make with that. That's um, happening tonight. Obviously, these passatas are 39p. That's a staple in this household. We have pastas and use these sauces all the time, so oh. we get a good amount. We saw someone going around with like a whole trolley of them, didn't they? Yeah, because they had, set to the side they had like a big um stack of them didn't they like a pallet of them mm. and i think they had a pallet of these as well i think these were 39p as well yeah very cheap and then obviously the pot noodles oh, we can't get through this video without mentioning those again eh? you yes. know how katie's pot noodle obsession is and prices yeah the guy had loads of these as well really? so i think obviously trying to shift you know certain things but i mean it's great so what i found interesting is a general observation it wasn't just good prices on their own farm foods branded stuff. Known brands with really good prices as well, like the pot noodles. The fact that we got these McCain jacket potatoes recently in challenges, mm. and it was better than both Poundland and Tesco's. Yeah, that watermelon, uh, I mean, watermelon's gone up a lot. So to get a whole watermelon, yeah, about 179. I think that's so, yeah. Amazing, and the pineapple, yeah, some of those, fresh. they didn't have loads of fresh food, but the stuff they did have was really good prices. Mm. Something to bear in mind though, that some of the deals like fries and things like that, you have to get two of them to get the deal. Mm. Or sometimes, some cases, three of them to get the deal. So I feel like you have to have a good amount of money to get all the deals. Yeah, because it's normally like, spend up to a fiver or six pounds or something like that, yeah. yeah. Whereas maybe if you're on a budget, you can only do one pack for 250 or something, yeah. Exactly, so someone might not have six pounds to get all three of the frozen fruit. So yeah. do you and see what I mean? You yeah. have to buy a lot of one thing in order to get the deal. It's not with everything, but with certain things uh, around the store, that's what we found, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it also, you know, it depends if you've got a big freezer because ours is gonna struggle with this stuff. I mean, we are gonna eat some tonight, so we're gonna have a movie night. We decided we're having a movie night and we're gonna have these, and we're gonna have fries, and we're gonna have baked beans, and it's gonna be yummy. But yeah, I actually thank you to everybody for telling us to go there, because that was really good. It's, it's, I enjoyed it in there as well. It was pretty chill, really nice staff, really helpful, really, everyone quite laid back. Really lovely staff. We went up to this lovely man when we first got there, and we said, oh, we're just gonna film a little bit of us in here, and he's just like, yeah, sure. Yeah, everyone was so laid back, really helpful. We don't have one right on our doorstep, that's the thing. Mm. They don't seem to be as readily available as other supermarkets in comparison. But I'm yeah. surprised they're not factored in. When you look at like consumer reports about what the prices of supermarkets, they're never in there. Normally it's Aldi, it's listed the bottom. This one could be the cheapest. But it's not a typical supermarket in the sense that there's a lot of frozen stuff. I think the equivalent to this would be Iceland. Iceland, it reminded me of that, yeah. It'd be really good to do a comparison with farm foods in Iceland, because oh, Iceland, yeah. they have some really good deals too. Or maybe farm foods in Aldi, just to see which is the cheapest. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's where you guys can come in. Let us know if you'd like to see those videos or any other suggestions you have like that. We did this because of your suggestions and we're glad we did. Yeah, oh, and let me tell you oh, yes. as well, you know when it says on a receipt, multi buy, multi buy, and it tells you how much you've saved? Like that's most of the receipt, look. Oh yeah. It's telling us how much we saved from doing these multi buys. So, all in all though, we only spent 56 pounds. Wow. I'm just gonna quickly jump in guys, it's Bob from the future here. Just to let you know that Katie actually made a mistake. It wasn't 56 pounds, it was 51 pounds. Just so you know. Back to the video. This is so much food. Like, honestly, you can't see, but there's all food behind here. We've got all of these, it's going the all, here, all the way here. 
all the way to the end of there, all the way to the end of here, like this is a lot of food for 56 pounds. Quite different to Ikea. Yeah, and also a lot of branded things. Like, yeah. just didn't expect to get so many branded, look. At really good pies. prices, yeah. Yeah, the pucker pies, oh my goodness. Yeah, to have this many branded things and only have spent 56 pound, that's just incredible. So thank you for telling us to go there. I really enjoyed that. It turned into a bit of a haul, like a food haul in the end, when it wasn't she the most. out of hand. It, was, it went from a journey of discovery to a food haul very quickly. It's the danger of these videos, we take the risk every time. But that is where we're gonna end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys, all of your comments, all of your suggestions. But we will see you all in the next video. Just remember though, guys, no matter where you are in the world, you guys always stay free. And just keep rising.